So I set up Liliella in 2013 when I'd just been made redundant from a job that I absolutely adored. Um, I was a designer at that um, former company and I really, really love design, very passionate about product and clothing and fabrics and colour and print and everything. So I had two very young children and really didn't know what I was going to do in terms of career in the North East. So I thought, well, I'll try and set up my own clothing company. So we set up in the house um, around my kitchen table. I had um, three members of staff and I sat and worked from the kitchen table and the other two members of staff worked from my living room. The business grew very quickly initially from the house and within a year we had to find premises to move out to, which was great. So I think there was a point where there was about 10 people sitting around my kitchen table, tripping over high chairs and things, and I just thought, right, we have to get out of this house. We're, we're doing well enough, we can you know, get premises here. Uh, quality of the product is very important to me, as is our level of customer service. I really appreciate um, good customer service myself, so I think it's really important to treat your customers well and provide them with an outstanding product. The customer that we've got is very loyal. Um, if you treat her well, she'll come back and buy from you again. They're my inspiration. Um, they write lovely letters and tell me how grateful they are for my lovely clothes. And it just, it's, it's lovely and I feel I've a real sort of passion for clothes and I believe that um, an outfit and clothing can determine how you feel um, on a daily basis. And if you feel good, you know, life's good. I think one of the things that was significant at the beginning of working with Liliella was everything seemed like a cost. Um, what you realise very quickly is that there are many things that you take on that are significant investments in your business. And I would say Abacus was one of those things that we probably would have thought about putting off many, many years down the line, as many businesses might think, but it was probably the greatest investment we ever made in our business, and I don't say that lightly. So we currently use Abacus in, in many the same ways that we have done in the past, which is effectively um, taking uh, prospect data, receiving prospect data. Um, we always did this at the beginning. Uh, it was very small segment, segments of data initially, and this has grown over time as we've become um, more confident in terms of how the data works for us. The other thing we've looked at with Abacus is, is how we uh, improve customer acquisition. Um, and that, working with them with data analysis and how each campaign works has allowed them then to effectively um, select customers for particular campaigns so we can look in a very granular way at the analysis of the data and that will allow us to determine who we target in specific times of the year. The beauty with the data acquisition um, and the amount of prospect data we've, we've taken that's actually turned into actual customers is the lifetime value of those customers that were not only then able to um, utilize their data with regards to sending them catalogs, but obviously a lot of them then when they place an order will give us email addresses. So we can then target specific online, online campaigns. So as you say, the omni-channel approach is really, really vital for us that none of these things work independently, they all work with each other. Every single part of it is measurable. So we can identify exactly who's been selected from what particular part of the data, how often they've bought from us, how many things they buy from us, and see their responsiveness through the campaigns. So that then allows us then to select data going forward in a much more confident way than if we were just looking at a data file being sent every single time. The relationship has developed significantly over time as we've gained greater confidence that the actual process works brilliantly well for us. And I think one of the big things that's changed over time is the amount of data we've taken because the proof is there and we're able to segment the data and see how well it responds for us. So initially it was acquisition and then it moved on to data analysis which allowed Abacus then to receive our data and analyse specifically our data and how well our individual customers are not only responding with us but also with the market in general. Um, and that's how we work with Abacus a lot today. They provide and select customers from every single uh, campaign based on exactly how they're performing with us, but also how they're performing with others. So we know that we are getting the best quality data we can for our business for every single campaign. The wonderful thing about direct mail is customer engagement. Um, I find this, even as a consumer, that when something comes through the door, you touch and feel it, you see it. It's got much greater gravitas. Online is colder, 
but you get to keep a catalogue. So you constantly re-engage with it much more than you ever would do online. It is absolutely something you should invest in very early on in your business because it's the, probably the best value for money we've had.